<laughs> Thanks, friends, for watching our video today. Bandit and I are on our way out to Palm Canyon to camp for a few days, and we run into a little trouble, but we make it. So stay tuned to the end to see a gorgeous sunset. <laughs> well, goodbye, Parker. <laughs> Bandit and I are finally leaving Parker and headed down to Palm Canyon. Go down there and spend uh, a few days and have a good time, hike the canyon, enjoy the desert. And uh, maybe we'll stop in at the RTR for a quick visit after. We'll see how that works. So, on the road again. Yabba dabba doo! <laughs> Well, it's Papa, and uh, we're all gassed up, and we just left Parker, just past the exit to go to Quartzsite, not ready to go down there and face that zoo yet, thousands of people down there, but we're going to go out to Palm Canyon and uh, see if maybe it's a little quieter and relax a bit. So on the road, about 50 miles away. Well, here's what we're looking at for a drive. Lots of nice Arizona desert. Lots of uh, big, tall Arizona mountains sticking up over there. And over there. Following some uh, fifth wheels up there. They're not going to Quartzsite either. Got uh, some beautiful mountains sticking up over there. And lots of flat, wide open desert. Yes, sirree. I love me some Arizona desert. Gabba dabba doo! <laughs> well, here I am. Uh, I took a wrong turn, and I'm probably uh, 20 miles out of the way, headed to Palm Canyon. But, even more exciting than that, I just ha heard a great big kaboom, and I think I may have had another blowout. <laughs> so, you and I are going to get out of the RV and go look and see for ourselves if that's the case. Oh, yeah, look at this. Looks like the the blowout blew up and hit my fresh water tank or fresh water intake. Something on the fresh water and now I'm leaking all kinds of fresh water here. Holy smoke. And that tire just came apart. The tread just came right off of that tire. That tire is only about, oh gee, 10,000 miles old. Okay, well, <laughs> praise God. Woo, yabba dabba doo. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. Well, see that? Whoa. 
Look at that tire. Look at that tire. It's just shredded. Wow. Well. <laughs> Well, it's pretty odd. From going 70 years and never ever having a blowout on the highway, now in six months I've had two. <laughs> uh, one in the front and one in the rear. Oh man! <laughs> I'm sure you're glad God has everything in control. <laughs> <laughs> well, here I am, stuck on the side of the road again. <laughs> well, I got off the phone with my insurance company and I filed a claim. So uh, that's been done. Um, I'm, I talked to my uh, RV expert back home uh, in Washington. And he said that if it were he he would try to limp the RV back into civilization, back into a tire store and get a tire and then continue the trip. The, it's not a complete blowout. Uh, why it did this, I don't know, a defective tire maybe. The tread just totally came off. Uh, underneath the tread, the part of the tire that's underneath the tread, uh, is still intact and inflated. So, uh, I don't know what the deal is with that. So, anyhow, sadly, uh, my trip to Palm Canyon is delayed. <laughs> and I got to go back to town somewhere and try to find a tire. Well, here I go. God's in control. Here you can see the outside tire of the Dooley Pair with good tread and the inside tire with the tread that's just peeled off. The same dually pair from a little different angle. See the fresh water just pouring out of my fresh water tank. The frayed tire banged into the tank or the pipes or something and cracked them. Well, the, uh, the tread peeled right off of the tire and the uh, inner part of the tire was still intact and still inflated. So I've been limping the Millennium Falcon back to Parker 54 miles on one dually and uh, what's left of the tire that uh, blew apart. And it got me 51 miles. So that was great. Only problem was I was 54 miles <laughs> from the tire store. <laughs> so now I'm limping along at about uh, five miles an hour, trying to get to the tire store, see if I can get there before they close. Should be able to. Maybe I'll even get it fixed and be back on, on the road in the near future. <laughs> what an adventure on the road. Yabba dabba doo. <laughs> well, this is a picture uh, after the inner tire shredded, and uh, I was down to just totally flat on that tire. Well, I made it back into Parker to State Line Tire and Wheel. They've got uh, really good reviews on. Uh, on Google and on Yelp, so uh, we'll see how that goes. A couple hundred bucks, it sounds like, and I'll be back out the door in probably uh, an hour. That'd be good. <laughs> that is one tore up tire. Tore some wires out of Dad, too. burn it. Well, the man working on the, uh, the tire just noticed that uh, I've got some electrical wires torn off underneath there too, so uh, boy, I don't know what they're to. I guess we'll find out when something that's not working. <laughs> Getting it all put back together. Wow. 
I uh, got under there a little bit while the tires were out and tied up those electrical wires that were hanging. Looks like they weren't super critical. Looks like they were. Looks like they were the wires that connected up this uh, aftermarket uh, strip lighting here, which is a turn signal and a four-way flasher. But uh, it's not uh, it's not a critical thing. It was kind of more decorative than anything. So uh, if that's all it was, uh, I can live with that. And. Uh, we're uh, pretty much uh, done down here. Guy had a super big 100 million pound jack underneath there. Probably a 10 ton or 15 ton jack, air compressor, air compressed air jack. So, that uh, outer tire is looking a lot better than it did. <laughs> it's an expensive way to go to get my second extension on there. You remember up there in, uh, at Celilo Park, uh, I had uh, extensions put on, but they didn't have one. They didn't have enough for uh, all four. And uh, so I was missing one. Well, now I'm not missing one. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Well, these guys here in Parker at uh, State Line Tire and Wheel, uh, they do uh, good work and quick work. They got me in and out of here in under an hour. So that's good. I'm back on the road, still going to be able to make Palm Canyon before sunset. <laughs> Well, we made it through Quartzite, and we're about 10 miles from Palm Canyon. And I'll tell you, it was uh, quite an experience going through Quartzite. Both sides of Quartzite have literally thousands and thousands of RVs of all sizes, shapes, Class A's, Class B's, Class C's, schoolies, just uh, thousands of them. And they're all here for the uh, Rock and Gem show. And um, many of them are here for the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous, the RTR, Bob Wells' big uh, meetup. So there's some of the mountainsides. Around uh, Quartzite. And we should be at Palm Canyon in about 10 minutes. Well, if you decide that you're going to come to Palm Canyon sometime, uh, and you're watching your Google Maps, be careful as you uh, get right to the turnoff. I missed it because I expected a little bit uh, more of a, an improved turnoff, but this is nothing more than turning off of the highway onto a uh, very dusty, dirty gravel road. So you can blow right by it if you're not careful. I did. But look up here. Look at that mountain. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? What's interesting also is down at the foot of it is a very green belt that goes the full length of it. It's absolutely wonderful. We roll down the window, it might be a little noisy. Get a more panoramic view here. Wow. So I suppose Palm Canyon is uh, up there somewhere. <laughs> We're going to go find it. 
Lots of desert out here, and according to what I've read, Kofa National Wildlife Refuge, you can park anywhere you can get your RV. Sorry, it's a little bumpy. I don't have the gimbal on right now. But when you turn off of the highway out there, it's still another seven miles on this gravel road to get up to the parking lot for the uh, Palm Canyon Trail. This is the Kofa National Wildlife Reserve at Palm Canyon, Arizona. Right there you can see to the left the roadway that goes up the canyon a little ways and then after that it's quite a hike to get up where the palm trees are growing. We're going to give that a shot tomorrow. <laughs> Not too shabby of you, huh? <laughs> Bandit and I made it to our camping spot out here in Kofa National Wildlife Ref Re Refuge. And uh, the slit in that mountain right there is the Palm Canyon. And we're going to climb that tomorrow. But isn't that an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous sunset? on the mountain. Unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> well, friends, we did have a little trouble along the way, but God's bigger than our troubles, and so we made it. Now we're just going to relax and enjoy all the beauty of this wonderful world.